Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and today I wanted to go ahead and give you an update on Bean. So on Sunday, I said that she had a head tilt because of an inner ear infection, which she was being treated for, and she's still being treated for that. However, as you can see, the head tilt has gone away uh, quite a bit. It's still a little there, but mostly gone, and honestly, I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought she'd be stuck with a head tilt. And I wasn't too worried because rats adapt really easily to things like that. But still, it's nice to see that she's recovered even more. I'm not sure if it's going to go away entirely, but it does seem like it's been reduced quite a bit. And she has officially had her last dose of Medicam, which was the anti-inflammatory she was on. And she still has two weeks of antibiotics, but that's not too bad because Bean is honestly really easy to medicate. I think a big reason for that is because I have syringe trained her, which is basically when you give them a lot of yummy things from a syringe uh, when they're healthy. And I like to do that with all my rats, and it's also one of the ways that I reward them during training sometimes. So overall, Bean is just very familiar with the syringe, and she's also very used to getting good things from it. So it wasn't too hard to give her medication that way either. Anyways, as you can see, Bean is doing a lot better. Uh, she's running around, bouncing, and she's not uh, too nervous or anything like that, which was something that she was displaying a bit of before. Uh, she's also back to playing with her cage mates, which is a big thing for her. It was really weird seeing Bean not go and wrestle like Mocha or one of the other rats. So it's great to see her back to her normal self. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much the update. As you can see, she still has a tad balance issue sometimes when moving really fast, like when she'll shake her body. Sometimes that will temporarily make her fall over for a second, but she's quickly back on her feet and we are focusing on Spice here because Bean is somewhere else. Oh, there she is. She's going back in the cage. But yeah, Bean is very happy and she's back to her usual self. Uh, she has started some training. Actually, she is learning how to paint right now. So lots of fun stuff. She's also learning some scent games. Oh no, she is on my shoulder now. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, Bean is pretty much back to normal. Uh, she is back to harassing her cage mates sometimes. They love each other, I promise. But yeah, very happy little Bean. Not too tilty, which is very nice. And just in general, lots of good stuff going on. I'm really glad that she responded to medication so fast and that she has continued to do so well. So I don't really expect any other issues to come up. Let's just focus on Peaches trying to drink my coffee. Peaches, no, do not do it. Don't do it, Peaches. Oh, and of course, Bean and Coconut having a little bit of a kerfuffle down there. <laughs> So yeah, she is uh, very much back to normal, and I'm going to go ahead and end this here because they are insane. And I think it's pretty clear that Bean is feeling very good. Hello, Bean. Oh, she's also happy to be back with her cage mates, of course. Whoops, sorry, Bean. But yeah, she's happy to be back with her cage mates, and I actually ended up putting her back on the night of my first video on Bean uh, on Sunday. I know I said I was going to wait a day or few, but... She was doing fine, and she was getting around fine, so I didn't think there was any need to, <laughs> need to leave her in the small cage, which I've actually left in the large cage for now. I know you can't really see it because of the flash being off, but still. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this update on Bean, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!